I'm so glad that we, I learned something that I can share and I'm going to get the word out about you. And you have a post, the, the stamp with you. And by the time they get to their desk the next day, you've basically said, I'm going to give a referral to you. you always give. Always give, never take. Always give, right. give. And it came back to us. I mean, we've been in business 14 years. Wow. May I have it? Thank you. By the way, if you, there's a fishbowl out there and uh, if you, there's going to be a drawing. And whoever uh, gets it gets uh, a three-hour consulting package with me and a copy of my DVD from my TV show, which is 50 Business Tips, and an electronic version of my book, Dr. Stan, the Business Doctor. So be sure at break you put things in the fishbowl up front. Okay? Yes, sir. Yes. Here's my business card. Okay. Uh, lastly, I agree with her totally. It's always you should give more. And in the process of that, never feel like you are intruding on anyone because you're just doing business and an aspect and always try to receive one and on the back of our cards we, we hold that hold a, that for a second yes we put a uh, seal on it as soon as you feel it it kind of shows that we've been in business 10 years 10 years can you see it it's in bose printing so yeah. you'll, you'll automatically feel it as soon as you get the card okay thank you thank you kind. all right let me go on to the content or we'll we'll run out of time i know you got cards um I would love to hear every one of your card stories because I think they're cool. Um, here's another thing I want to add on the bottom of this. Uh, brand yourself with a slogan. I am Dr. Stan, the business doctor. That is my moniker. That's who I am. That's how I've decided to articulate who I, articulate who I am. That's why I have a TV show. That's why I have a radio show, The Business Doctor. That's why I'm going out there and I'm in blogs all over the country because that's how you do it. That's how you grow your business is you become an identity to the market and you cut yourself apart from the pack. One of the things you have to ask yourself when you leave here today is what makes me different? When I walk out that door and I tell people about me, what value proposition did I take that made me different? Very important. Okay, common mistakes that people make. They don't, they're not marketing to a defined group. I'm going to encourage you to do focus groups. Let me tell you very quickly because of time we'll be running out. A focus group is where you bring 10 people together and you get 10 opinions about what you're doing. They look at your brochures, they look at your business ideas, and they give you market intelligence. The big marketing companies, when you go out and you get an MBA in marketing and you get intelligence on market uh, positioning, what you do is you have focus groups, and I've been invited to those focus groups, and they pay $100 for an hour, and you sit there, and you click little buttons while you look at commercials and things. Some do it for less. But I would really recommend that if your business is growing and you want to grow it, and I've had, like I said, hundreds of people come to me, then you need to have a focus group. Bring people in of all diverse customers, non-customers, people on the street that you think would be potential buyers. Buy them a dinner, have it, buy dinner, have it in a meeting room, have a focus group. The, the big guns... Pepsi, Coke, General Motors, we hope General Motors, you know, <laughs> you know we're, we're keeping our fingers crossed. All right, they all have focus groups. One of the things clients bring me in to do sometimes is conduct these focus groups. And I would recommend you start researching it, email me or people about it. Uh, not focusing on repeat business. One of, the peop one of the things I've seen from people in business from the zero to $3 million mark is they don't repetitively keep going back to the same customers. A lot of times, 80% of the business of a lot of my uh, students and clients is the same customer clientele. They keep going back. Starting too late. It isn't like you woke up this morning and said, I think I'm going to do marketing today, <coughs> right? What you've got to do is start in sync with a campaign. If you're going to have your salespeople knock on doors, if you're going to put a news ad out there, if you're going to start beating a path into the community, your marketing campaign is synchronized with everything else. It's got to be synchronized. Um, it's all got to have the same time. Not having a clear marketing message. There are people that are out there that are spending a lot of money that you don't know what they do. You get the commercial, and at the end of the commercial you say, what is it exactly they did? I didn't quite get it. And it happens to all of us all the time. Um, going overboard. You, just because you have a nicer, um, I had a person at a radio talk show, another story, um, and the person in the radio talk show was getting let go and they wanted to get hired by another radio station. So we talked about this in great depth, and I said, what is the greatest thing you do for a radio talk show? And this person told me, I give great interviews, and I inspire people, and I'm a cancer survivor, and blah, 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 and all this stuff. What I recommended is that we put a MP3 player with their five best shows in one-minute snippets in a red velvet box, and in the red velvet box, when you flip it open at the radio station you want to be hired by, 
All it says is play me to hear the best radio show you've ever heard. I created a bias reaction. There wasn't a second step. You went right in. You got instant information. And you heard my five best shows. That person got another radio show. That's what you do is you, in, you engage the person you're trying to sell with a clever idea or a clever, let's say, a call to action. Every salesperson is trying to create a call. Everyone here 